What is Earthquake? For many of us, experiencing earthquakes has been a terrifying experience. When you feel the earth shake, all you want is for it to stop and not do more harm to many people. Aside from being horrified by the event, the after effects of an earthquake, such as the occurrence of tsunamis are extremely dangerous. Types of Earthquakes Tectonic, volcanic collapse and explosion are the four types of earthquakes. A tectonic earthquake happens when the earth shell fractures due to geological forces acting on rocks and plates adjacent to it, causing chemical and physical changes. The earthquake that occurs as a result of tectonic forces associated with the volcanic activity is referred to as a volcanic earthquake. Small earthquakes triggered by seismic waves created by the detonation of the rock on the surface cause collapse of underground tunnels and mines. An earthquake caused by the explosion of a nuclear or chemical bomb is known as an explosive earthquake. Effects of earthquake on structures. Effects on inertia force. One of the seismic impacts that have a negative impact on a structure is the creation of inertia forces. When the building shakes due to an earthquake, the foundation moves, but the roof remains stationary. The roof, on the other hand, is dragged along with the building's base because the walls and columns are attached to it. Structures deformation. When the building undergoes an earthquake and adjacent ground shakes, the building's foundation moves with it. The roof, on the other hand, would move differently than the structure's foundation. Internal forces in the columns are created by this difference in movement, which tends to reappearance the column to its initial location. Horizontal and vertical shaking. The ground shakes in all three directions X, Y and Z during an earthquake, and the ground shakes randomly back and forth along each of these axis directions. Structures are often intended to resist vertical loads therefore vertical shaking caused by earthquakes, which either adds or subtracts vertical loads, is addressed by safety factors incorporated into the design. General Principles of Earthquake Resistant Design The simplicity of the structure The provision of an evident basic and uncomplicated load route to transfer seismic forces from different parts of the structure to its foundation is referred to as structural simplicity. Not only must the load route be obvious and straightforward, but its component should also be stiff ductile and strong enough. Redundancy and uniformity. It has been proved that if a structure's strength, stiffness, and mass are distributed symmetrically and consistently in elevation and plan it will perform significantly better in seismic events than a structure that lacks these attributes. Stiffness. Because seismic loads on both horizontal axes of structures are typically similar, it is advised that identical resistance systems be provided in both directions. As a result, the structural components must be arranged orthogonally to ensure that resistance properties are identical in both primary directions. Torsional. During earthquakes, lateral torsional deformation may occur, stressing diverse structural elements in an uneven manner. The eccentricity between the center of mass and stiffness is what causes lateral torsional motion. As a result, this issue must be addressed throughout the design phase. Diaphragm adequacy. The impact of diaphragms on a structure's seismic response is quite important. It not only transfers the seismic inertia stress to the vertical structure members but also prevents the vertical elements from moving too far to the side. Seismic design. Seismic design is a critical structural analysis method used when constructing a structure that will be endangered by earthquake, ensuring that the structure will continue to perform its purpose after the earthquake. Seismic engineering has advanced throughout time, with tools like StadProgate Abs, Tecla, Robot and others automating the complication of analysis that used to need several cycles of formulas. These tools produce beneficial outcomes such as safe, stable, and long-lasting structures, as well as design optimization and cost-effective structures, the structure that can withstand an earthquake. Rigid Structure While it may appear counterintuitive to construct a stiff structure to a location where the ground moves, it is actually a highly common method of stabilizing and maintaining a structure. The most important aspect of this technique, however, is providing lateral rigidity. It's simple enough to construct a vertically strong structure but ensuring that the structure moves uniformly side to side during the earthquake is more difficult. Multiple safety. Multiple safety methods are in place in a really earthquake-proof building to ensure it does not collapse. This increases the cost of constructing an earthquake-resistant structure, but it pays off immediately when you are attacked by an earthquake or storm. 
In general, it refers to the usage of foundations, cross braces, and materials with evenly distributed strength both sideways and vertically. Strong Foundation As with any structure, you must ensure that the area where you are constructing has a safe foundation in order to give a stable building basis. When construction in earthquake or cyclone-prone areas however, reinforcement is frequently required. Softer ground material, which might slide and cave after heavy rain or vibrations, is common in areas prone to these natural calamities. Bracing. Because of its simple design and ease of installation, cross bracings are employed in earthquake-proof buildings all over the world. Cross braces are comparable to trusses in that they give stiffness by being integrated into the walls and floors. Material. Bricks, in particular, are very vulnerable to earthquake shocks. The following materials are frequently used in earthquake-resistant construction. Wood. Steel. RCC. Bamboo. Features of the earthquake-resistant buildings. Earthquake-resistant structures and structural elements generally feature ductility, a building's capacity to bend, deform without collapse and sway. When exposed to the vertical or horizontal shear stresses of an earthquake, a ductile structure bends and flexes. Examples of earthquake-resistant buildings. The following are the 10 buildings that were designed with specialized features to withstand the lashes of earthquakes. Taipei 101 Taiwan. Utah State Capitol Building, USA. Patronus Twin Tower Malaysia. Burj Khalifa Dubai. The Yokohama Landmark Tower. City Group Center. S Bank Tower USA. One Rincon Hill South Tower USA. I hope the above video provides you with an in-depth knowledge of the earthquake-resistant buildings. Please feel free to like, share, and comment.